Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is Tuesday, February 20th. What's going on today? Yep, February 20th. Um, do we have birthdays? It's Angie, Hibernation Stitcher's birthday. Happy birthday, Angie. Hope you have a good one. I know she's been taking a break from social media for a while. Oh my gosh. So let's see, weather. Right now it is 28, feels like 22. It is sunny out there. So today is going to be a high of 42 and the low of 28 tonight. It says sunny. Winds east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Humidity 47% and sunset is at 5.49 p.m. I had to turn the little air conditioner on in here because when it is really, really sunny out and there's no wind, this room is hot. <coughs> and I don't leave the... I used to... <coughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm good now. Sorry about that. I didn't want to keep coughing in your face. Um, I you my other cats I ever had. I could leave my bed this door open, so it would cool off in here, and the cats would leave me alone. But the cats that I have now, there is two of them that well, one is good. The other one climbs all over everything, knocks everything down. She gets up in my bookcases. She knocks down all the pencil cases and zoomer just wants to be up here up in my face and so yeah so I don't leave the door wide open and if Pearl came in here she'd want to be all up in my face too just bear with me I am uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not having a very good day let's just say that I am mad at my pharmacy and I've been back and forth with my doctor's office, so at least he's dealing with it. Okay, today is National Love Your Pet Day. Yep, we can do that, right? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Had to answer a, a message. Okay. So that was today's national day. Today's wisdom quote. The greatest thing in the world is to know how to belong to oneself. By Mitchell D. Montagne. Today's the words of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. Today's first word is gulag. Gulag is a noun. The system of forced labor camps in the former Soviet Union. Two, any prison or forced labor camp, especially one for political prisoners. Or three, a place of great hardship. The other word of the day. Toxin? Toxin. Toxin. T O C S I N. Toxin is a noun, an alarm bell or signal. Today's horoscope for Aries. Have you been invited to a party that's supposed to play, take place today? If you think you haven't, you'd better check your calendar again. All signs suggest that you could forget a lot of important things right now, and one might be a social event, perhaps business-related. This might not be one of your best days. Usually you tend to have a memory like an elephant. <laughs> 
just for the time being, keep your calendar handy. Uh, no, my mind has not been like an elephant lately. Not at all. Okay. What else do we want to read today? How about help? Because mine is taking a nosedive. With today's planetary alignment, you will be especially sensitive to the needs of others, with a special emphasis on family and children. You may want to consider enhancing your home environment in some nurturing way. Is it time to upgrade your kitchen? <laughs> that costs money. Healthy herbs, herbs grown in your own home are a lovely way to heighten the pleasure of eating as well as cooking. A simple planter box by your kitchen window is attractive and practical. Rosemary, parsley, and basil are some suggestions. Um, have you seen my cats? That ain't happening. Oh my gosh. So, let's get stuff written in my planner and I will tell you how it's been going on since yesterday morning. Because I am like ready to throw in the towel. I didn't even feel like making a morning video. It's like, you know what? I have over 3,000 subscribers. I only get 35 to 45 views. And it's always the same people. Why am I doing this? I did it because I liked it at the beginning. I did it for me. Now I'm doing it for you guys. For my regulars. But where is everybody else? Come on, people. Where is everybody? Okay. So I watched GH from Friday. So I have to watch yesterday's and today's. I watched Hallmark The Way Home. I went to watch Tracker. But at the time I was going to watch it, the sun was right behind my TV and I couldn't see the screen. And I don't have dark curtains. They're real light curtains, so that doesn't help. Okay, so... Hey, the cat. The astrology cat. Has 203 stitches. The hay, the stocking, is 57. The hay, rosy, is, I put in 56 stitches. And I did work on the Le Petites. Christmas teapots. I had Heidi help me out with the pattern keeper for it so that I could stitch on it. And I put in 344 stitches on that. So the Astrology Cat worked for my daily 30. And the Christmas teapots, I used um, something F, no, something sweet in the I Spy Challenge by Stitching by the Shore and something sweet is sugar or honey which goes into tea. I don't put it in my tea but it goes into tea. <clears throat> so there was that. So let's go in. So rosy astrology cat and the dragon. I don't think I have Christmas teapots, but let me check to see if they are, oh, is this it? I don't know. Is this Christmas cups? 
And that's what they were calling them, but they're really teapots. So I don't know if that's it or not. <coughs> it probably is. I'm thinking it is because it was the first one I, I started. Okay. Two, nineteen, twenty-four. Okay. So today I need to watch Tracker. Yesterday's General Hospital. Today's I'll get caught up sometime because today is reading day. Today is reading day. So, I'm going to finish, what is it I'm reading? Meet Cute. Meet Cute. It's really good. I'm like halfway through it. And then I have some book reviews. Um, so, I ran out of my insulin last Thursday. And I've been waiting. I called my pharmacy and it, because I got a phone call almost two weeks ago that they were out of stock it'll be in, in a couple days well I'm still waiting so I called the pharmacy call I talked to the pharmacist talked to him he's I said I was told that you're out of stock I said I really need my insulin I've been out since Thursday he goes let me look no he goes it's because we sent a request for the refill on the 9th and your doctor's office hasn't responded to us that's not the first time that's happened at my doctor's office okay let me message my doctor so I messaged the doctor's office he messages me back I sent the refill in an hour later I get a phone call from Walgreens unfortunately we are out of stock of this pro of the insulin it will be a few days um, now I'm furious because the pharmacist freaking lied to me. So I'm like, okay, let me call another pharmacy. I have questions. Oh, and this pharmacy always runs out of my rebelsis, which is also for my diabetes. So I call my other local pharmacy. I said, this is a problem I'm having. Is this a problem that you have in your pharmacy? I just need to know. He says, the rebelsis we don't keep in stock so we always say to call a few days before you run out so we can order it and bring it in I don't know why but that's that must be what my pharmacy does too so I have like I have enough in my pill containers no they're not in my pill containers I have enough for 10 days so I called it in yesterday so hopefully it'll be ready because it says not available yet so I'm assuming my pharmacy does the same thing. So then I asked them about the insulin. He goes, which insulin are you taking? So I told him, and he said, please hold. Okay. So I waited, and I waited, and I waited. And he comes on, he goes, I am really sorry, honey. He says, but that insulin has been discontinued. What? He says, your doctor should have known that. He should have switched your insulin. Okay. So, I messaged my doctor this morning, told him, and he said, that's weird. That's what I got from him. That's weird. Should I call it in? Um, don't be calling in my prescription if no one else is carrying it. No. So then I realized, well, i got to keep checking my sugar more because I don't want it to get too high. I'm out of Lancet's. Now, I can't read the expiration date, but it says I have three refills. But I can't read the little expiration date. So I call it in. You do not have a prescription for that. 
so I get out the magnifier, I read my little prescription thing, and yeah, and so I had to have it refilled by February of last year, because I haven't checked my sugar, I don't check it every day because I'm tired of pricking my freaking fingers, I want the arm thing, I can't get it, because I only take insulin once a day, so my insurance won't cover it. I am trying not to let my blood pressure go up. I am trying not to get worked up because then my sugar numbers go up. But my husband, he also comes home in a really bad mood yesterday because he had a review at his full-time job. Perfect score. He's there every day, puts in overtime when they need him to. He doesn't call in sick. His performance is at 100% at work, and he got a 3% raise. He is pissed because it was less than last year. And they they got a lot of business, and his company brings in a lot of business, and they have a lot of money. So he's pissed all night last night, bitching about it. So he went to work today, and I get a message a little after 9 during his break. Everybody's pissed about their reviews. Like, oh. So it's not just him. So they're jerking everybody around. And this is why I tell certain people, and I don't think she watches my channel anymore, but she has always put in 60, 80 hour days, 80 hour weeks, and she's on salary not getting paid for that. This is why I tell you, you know who you are if you are watching this. This is why I tell you, stop putting in those extra hours because when it comes down to it, they don't give a shit. They don't. And this is another reason why I don't work outside the home. I did that. I've done that. They don't give a shit. Doesn't matter where you work. They don't give a shit. So, on that note of jobs, I do now have one. It's not going to be a lot of money, but it's a little bit that I can have maybe to put towards. I do need a new CPAP machine. I could put towards that. Um, I'm going to be model stitching for a brick and mortar store. Yes, I am. And um, I had filled out the form for them over a week ago, and I hadn't heard back from them. So last night I got ready for bed, and there was an email that if you receive this email, then you are now one of our model stitchers. They, um, they will have a lot of stuff from the Nashville market. And I guess they send me a list, and then I just pick from the list of what I want to stitch. They don't ever have any deadlines, no dates, but try to get them back to them as soon as possible. This is perfect for me. I'm home all day anyways. Yes, it will take away from some of stitching on my whips, but look at how much I stitch. If I don't stitch on Rosie every day, I'm good with that. As long as I stitch on my astrology cat and the 50 stitches on the Christmas or on that stocking, the dragon stocking, I'm good. And then I have the rest of the day to do model stitching. I'm I'm good with that. I am. Um, I'm still waiting to hear from someone else for model stitching. I did email that person. Um, over the weekend. So I'm waiting to hear back about that. And I had to show pictures of my work and um, and if I had a floss tube channel and where they could see other pictures of my work. So um, I did all that. So I am excited. And I cannot thank my friend Deanne because she's the one that found both of them for me. And so, um, yeah. I think Deanne did both of them. I'm pretty positive. Deanne is the one that did both of them for me. I, I'm sorry, Deanne. My memory has been horrible lately. So, with that said, let's go on to the news. News break. Oh, my forehead's now itchy, and I put lotion on. So I took my shower this morning. 
now I can tell when I am not at my best. Took my shower, washed my hair, conditioner, my shower gel, all that stuff. That's good. Okay. I get out. I put on my face cream. I do that before I get dressed. I do my face cream. I use the Lumi lotion where I need to. And then I have my Bath and Body Works lotion and my body spray. So I did my face. Got dressed brushing my teeth and realized I didn't put any lotion on. No wears, no spray, no body spray, nothing. And I stepped on the cat's tail. Yeah, today's going to be a good day. Can you tell? Yep. So this morning also, I checked my sugar. It was 45 minutes after I took my rebelsis. Rebelsis is for diabetes. And my number was 353. I'm like, really? We need to get it down. So I have all kinds of veggies and salad stuff in my Instacart. Scott told me, order it. So that's what I am doing as soon as I get done here. I got to put the order through so that I can. And I'm ordering a big, big thing of unsalted mixed nuts for a snack. I ordered ordering strawberries for a snack because they they're high in fiber. So even though it's a fruit with sugar, if it's a fruit that's high in fiber, it's better for you. And I already have apples in the house. And I ordered some hummus. I have celery sticks and baby carrots. And yes, yeah, they'll go in my salads too. But for snacking on hummus is really good also for diabetes. So. I haven't able, been able to shop like that in a while because food has gotten so expensive. I even talked about it with my doctor and he's like, yeah, I've had to leave some vegetables in the stores because it's outrageous. Okay, we already know that. Granddaughter of country music legend to compete on American Idol season 22. Emily Russell, the 25-year-old granddaughter of late country music legend Loretta Lynn, is competing in this season of American Idol, which premiered its 22nd season Sunday night. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> Long time Fox anchor dies after sudden medical emergency. Scott Richards was 74. He was an anchor on Fox affiliate WBRC for 33 years. Sudden medical emergency. Another winter storm will bring snow to New York. After a couple of warm days across New York, get ready for another round of cold and snowy weather. Starting this weekend, temperatures near freezing along with the snow. Only parts of New York. Let's see. There are two different systems that will be moving across the area, and that is what cut on up bringing some snow to parts of New York. And that's it. Doesn't tell me where. Um, it's awful. Boy Meets World stars Ryder Strong and Willie Friegel regret supporting convicted abuser Brian Peck. They spoke about their memories with guest star Brian Peck before and after he became a convicted sexual abuser, revealing it's tough to reflect on the bond they shared knowing what they do now. Hmm. Wow. 
police report. Don't know him. I'm seeing if I know any of these people. Nope. Another winter storm. That's again a serious new warning. Suddenly issued for Samsung Galaxy users, which is me because I love my Samsung Galaxies. As dangerous apps are again caught stealing private information, including banking details. Well, that's good because I don't use my phone to pay for anything, not my bills. And I don't do any banking on my phone. Yeah, and I don't use the apps they're talking about. Nope. <clears throat> Washington, D.C. Powerball player sues for $320 million windfall, claiming he was unfairly denied prize money despite having numbers shown on website because they didn't match what was drawn on TV. His numbers matched the digits shown on the website, but did not match the ones displayed on the live TV drawn. What? He missed watching the live drawing, but discovered that his numbers matched what he found on their website. According to the filing, the lottery contractor made a mistake and posted the wrong winning numbers on the website. I would, I would sue them too. It was on the website. Child rushed to hospital with severe burns after fire rips through Deer Park mobile home. Oh no. Texas. Hope they'll be okay. Car, Car found in North Carolina Creek with human remains may hold answers to 1982 cold case. Wow. William Byron wins the Daytona 500. I know they had quite a few crashes. Breaking news. Travis and Jason Kelsey address Chiefs Parade shooting. Good Morning America anchor admits he fell in love with co-worker while still married. It's still loading. T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach are happily together now in the wake of their firing from GMA and the launch of their current podcast. And so he admitted that. Three people found shot on near west side. And that's in Indianapolis. In my county, there was a firefighter injured. Dog perished in East Pembroke garage fire. It's about 40 minutes from me, 30, 30 to 40 minutes. It said that they lost their dog. Social Security to make major payroll change. A major change to reduce the amount of incorrect payments made to beneficiaries. Police blotter. Woman involved in accident resists arrest strikes the officer. This is in Batavia. 
wonder if it's the same. There's like two women in Batavia they have a problem with. Oh no, Felicia Cheryl. She's 43. She struck a street sign. Um, to do, do two days ago. Don't want that. Um, no, uh, everything else we already know about. Okay. And that's it. That's it for today, my peepers. I hope that you all have a great day. I hope mine gets better. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye-bye.